Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is episode six. There's no gameplay this week. Today I am in the studio and I thought it'd be quite good to show you all my sniper gear and actually show you the reality of what it takes to be an airsoft sniper. So I did have a little something something planned with the MK23 but I've held off on that because I had to do a whole lot of work to my sniper rifle, the Ari Striker. It just wasn't sitting right and in the last gameplay it just was all over the place. It was actually shooting at 0.64 joules on 0.4 BBs. So it was very, very weak, very, very underpowered, and that was on an M90 AEG spring. So immediately I thought the spring was dead or something like that there, because I knew the air seal was very, very good. It was a very consistent 0.64 joules. However, I went and bought an M90 spring. I think it was an SRS silverback spring, but anyway, it was an AEG spring, and put it in and same results. So I bought a whole load of springs to try out and got them installed and it is now sitting at one joule, miraculously. But let me show you the amount of work that it takes. So now that we have the consistency right and the air pressure right and it's all sitting fine and the hops right, I'm still not happy with the sound. Now, I know people do a lot of audio tests out there and they use their mobile phones and things like that. However, they tend to have compressors on them. My little mic here doesn't have a compressor on it so it doesn't make loud things quiet and quiet things loud. It's just set at one level and that is to pick up my voice. So I'll fire the gun off and you can compare it to my vocals. To me personally, I think the gunshot is louder than my voice. So obviously if you can hear my voice in a game, then you'll definitely be able to hear my gun. So I'm gonna try and revert back to some good old tactics to get it nice and quiet. So this is the Aries Striker knee capper. As you can see, it's very, very short. However, it does come with this silencer, which is pretty darn funky and it makes it look a heck of a lot better. So this is my silencer. And as you can hear, it's quite, quite hollow. And what we are going to do is unscrew the end. And I'll show you that. Boom, it's totally and utterly empty. And we're gonna get some of these and we're gonna stuff these into here and that'll hopefully cut down a lot of the noise. How I do that then is kind of like baking a cake or cookies or whatever you call those things. And um, I pretty much make a mark like so. And we either use our knife or our blade. And I cut out a whole load of these wee discs. And eventually all of these will get stuffed down into here to cut out the noise. And obviously we have to make a hole right in the center here. Um, to allow the BB to go through. Okay, so we've just finished the project. We have the scotch tape or whatever you call that thing. It's not scotch tape, scotch, whatever you call, what do you call that? Yeah. Scoring pad. Yeah. Now, we did have a before sound, so this is what it sounds like after.
so we'll put on the before night. And this is the after. Okay, so now that I've sorted my sniper, it's time to move on to the MK23. One of the things that I don't like about it is the silencer. Now, it works a charm. This is it with fight. And this is it with. So it is way quieter. But I need something shorter. So I got the Novarich silencer and it's modular. So let's try it out full length here. Pretty darn quiet. But let's see if we can make it shorter whilst making it quieter. A much more usable length. And let's hear how loud it is or quiet it is. Yeah, it's not too bad. So that was it at its medium length. We're now gonna go for the shortest length. Okay, so the conclusion is that I'm gonna go with the mid-range silencer. I think it's near enough, if not identical, to the full-length Tokyo Marie one. I'm not too sure. Anyway, I gotta go. I hope you have a really good weekend. I hope you get gaming. Boom. Oh yeah, hold up. Whoa, 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 whoa. One last thing to talk about is the Wii Alpha Designs followers for the MK23. In my last video you would have seen me trying to shoot someone and I couldn't pull the trigger on my MK23 which doesn't regularly happen but it was because I had these installed. Josh has sent me out another three to give a wee test to and yeah they seem to be working well. I'll do a wee demo for you. So it's really simple to take out. We literally push the pin through. I'm using an allen key but use whatever you see fit. And then hold on to the spring and take the feeding lips out like so and the follower so that's the original follower and that's Josh's from Alpha Designs follower as you can see it's a lot smaller so we should be able to fit in quite a few more BBs That's the follower installed. We'll put it in the gun and we'll try out the dry fire function. So it shouldn't be able to shoot here. And sure enough, it works. So we'll be using these in this Sunday's game. Josh, thanks for sending them out.